Okay, here's another access easement and drain that's on paper. And they didn't have to put up a cart, no cart sign. They put the mailboxes right in the middle of it. And then we got all these signs and bushes. Basically, this is another shadow operation by the HOA and the golf course to limit the access on the golf course. And again, this is tax free. It's compliant like Tract H. It's got the right surface and everything on it, except it's got no outlet out there. It's got trees and bushes at the end. Plus it's got this no cart sign right here. This is a no golf cart sign. You can walk through it, but you don't, you're not gonna drive through it. No golf carts. All right, this is in contradiction to Tract H. Tract H and this H are described on a plat map and they're on the same deed as access easement. Now Tract H has unrestricted movement of carts and nobody would dare put up a sign in the front of it that says no carts. It's been that way for 12 years. You're gonna to have to explain everybody in parcel 13, why are you stopping us after 12 years and putting our cart? But this was the beginning. They did this in the beginning. They designated these two houses right here, members and needs, uh, members and needs entitlement. Again, what's their needs? They need privacy. They bought houses on the, uh, they all knew that they bought a house on an access easement, but they don't want to live up to the conditions of that contract. This is an access easement onto the golf course. Okay, up ahead of us is the 8th fairway and the 8th tee box, the women's 8th tee box. This is an emergency access easement onto the golf course. It's for emergency access. They didn't put the mailboxes in front of it like they did over in the other one. Okay, it's open and free to all golf carts that want to enter the course. Golf carts and people with golf carts use this as an access easement onto the golf course from this neighborhood. This neighborhood. Charlie Waters used to live over there around the corner. When he sold his house, he made sure that the person he sold it to had an access easement onto the golf course. Now this is emergency access, uh, emergency access easement. It's on the map as an emergency access easement. It's on the plans. Everything is emergency access easement. Now that's an emergency, you see this little winding road? Does that look like a fire truck could get through there, an emergency vehicle? This is set up as a designated place for everybody in this neighborhood to get onto the golf cart course with their golf cart. All right, again, this is equity theft. You're giving them, you're giving this neighborhood access to the golf course and you won't do it for parcel 12. You're letting this proxy goon named Dan Vescurna, and that's all he is, he's a proxy goon that you don't want that access easement in Tract A to be used. You can't put a sign up in front of it and Dan Vescurna would never let you put uh, mailboxes up in front of it because he'd increase the traffic around his house and he doesn't want that. He doesn't want to rub elbows. We're supposed to be a community of members that are all share to all the common areas. And we rub elbows with each other. We were supposed to rub elbows with each other in the, in the clubhouse and out here and on the golf course. When he comes to his house for that one week out of a month, he, what he basically says is, I'm restricting all movement. I don't care how much movement went over this, this access easement while I was gone, since I'm here, I'm going to take control. And the HOA has no problem with it. The HOA sees this as uh, he's our proxy enforcer over there. We can't put a sign there because it's illegal. But we're going to allow this snowbird to come in here and we're going to let him run the show over here. And, any, and anything he puts to restrict the movement across that uh, easement is all right with us. And I know it's all right because when I told Carolyn he put the sticks in, she said, I'll send somebody right out. She didn't. She was going to let it go until Monday morning. So for all weekend long, we would have had two stakes right at the beginning of our excess easement that somebody could have hit at night and tore their leg up with a rusty piece of metal. And this is the last access easement. There used to be an access easement there. It was all paved like tracked H up until about three years ago when they dug it out. And again, They've taken away from the membership the right to use that access easement 
to access the golf course. And forever and ever those mailboxes have been there. And you can see, nobody's going to walk through there, nobody's going to drive a cart. So that house right there and this house right here are another special needs entitlement program from the HOA gifted to these people on each side of this lot. They need privacy. We're going to take this access easement away from the rest of the membership, make them pay for it. We're going to make them pay. The, uh, the general membership will pay to maintain that, but they won't have use out of it. It's being privately given over to the people in that house and the people in that house as a special needs entitlement program from the HOA. That's out of compliance with the plat map. It's out of compliance with the grading map. It's out of compliance with the surfacing map. It's completely out of compliance. And they took it out of compliance so those people won't have to worry ever worry about golf carts going by their house. Or people. These are special needs entitlements being handed out by the HOA. And we're paying for it. And while we're paying for it, you've restricted our use to use it. When these people bought, when those people bought that lot, it was indicated to all of them, this is an access easement. You're buying one of the biggest lots in the parcel, and it's the biggest lot because it's an access easement. And now we're going to take that out of service just for you, and we're going to hand it over completely to you as a family trust forever and ever that you've got this little dynasty now that nobody can use. Everybody has to pay for it, but nobody can use but you. And that's what I'm going through over there with Dan Viskerner. He's a snowbird. He's only around here one out of four days. And that one out of four days, you're going to goose step to what I have to say. You're not walking here. Well, but he feels that way. Why isn't he here four days out of four days? Oh, well, he doesn't want to be where the weather's bad. He likes to be where the weather's nice. He even told the policeman, we come here when the weather's nice. 